Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 12 recap. Oh hi, I'm back. Are you ready to get silly? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's episode 10 of this pig season. I gotta say, it's not off to a great start. I mean, there's some crazy stuff going down, but like... It's not what we want. This is not good TV to us. It's like insane TV. <laughs> Insanity! It's like unfair, in a way. Mm, yeah. But last time, Vivek, or Vivac, or Viv, as, uh, what's his face, likes, likes mm, to call him. Anthony. I think it's Vivek, though. Yeah. I think that's how he prefers to, you know, have his name pronounced. Well, he he was H-O-H, and he nominated Bailey and Elijah, a.k.a. Goose. Yeah, he is really wanting Bailey out because they had their whole blow-up, Bailey's coming after him, blah, 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 which, like, maybe she is, but <laughs> I feel like that is something that can be mended. There are bigger fish to fry here. I think it was an a-hole move. I think I it mean, was. He's a dick rider. He doesn't see the bigger picture. <laughs> he is outside of the majority alliance and being like, love me, take me in. And the second they pay any attention to him, he's going to be like, okay, other outsiders, bye. When he goes home, and he will, he's going to see <coughs> that everybody was dicking him around. Yeah. So that's, he's got that. So I feel good about that. <laughs> So, is Bailey going to stay this week? I mean... Possibly. Even, even if she stays on the block, she might have the votes to stay. Yeah, she's like, mm, maybe Vivek should have considered that before he put me up. Like, does he actually have the votes to take me out? Yeah. Well, Todd would vote to save uh, Bailey. That's because Todd's the best! I kind of want Todd to win the whole thing, but it would <coughs> never, ever happen. Hey, you never know. Never say never. He can't just fart his way into the win, you know? <laughs> No, he's also going to make it. burgers with his dirty hands. <laughs> his bleeding dirty <laughs> hands. When they were talking about that the other day, I wanted to throw up. I don't want no Todd burger. <laughs> All right, so uh, <coughs> Viv, Vivac, and Goose, I told everyone you were a pawn. And Goose is like, yes, 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 yes. They should On the inside, to me. Goose is like, You're he's all name. upset. This is the Wouldn't second week. Be? I know, I'm saying this is the second week in yeah. a row. But, like, Goose, you need to stand up for yourself. You can tell these people you're not comfortable with being a pawn when they ask you to do yeah. it. Yeah. You can say no. Exactly. So, or at least tell them, like, I don't feel good about this. Right. But he's all like, yeah, yeah, I'm happy to do it. Um, what else can I do for you? Can I make you food? Like, do you want a massage? Like, what, what There's can like I do? There's, like, a whole freaking pecking order of, you know, grossness in this house. Yeah. All right, so Dennis, as we may remember, is very close with Viv. But they're not on the same page this week. Not this week. Not this week. Dennis does not want to see another lady leave this week. That's <laughs> he didn't want to see one leave last week. He voted for yeah. Donna to stay. And now the fact that Bailey is a target, he's like, I don't think so. Dennis, Dennis not on my watch. what's going on. He is not distracted by the, uh, the returning kids. Yeah. So, I mean, he already told Vivek last week, um, don't do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, he sees that Anthony is running the house. Mm -hmm. And he is, pl Anthony's playing both sides of the house, and Dennis sees it, and he wants Dennis out. And Viv could actually do something this week. You mean Dennis wants Anthony out? Yeah. Well, we know the other's true, true. Well, well we'll yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, so he's wanting Vivek to make a move, because, like, this is the time to do it. They have right. the opportunity. Uh, but Vivek is like, no. <laughs> no. No. I want to ride the D. <sighs> so... Dennis, war Dennis warns uh, Vivek he's going to be in trouble next week if he gets rid of another girl. Yeah. Or anybody other than Anthony. I mean, Dennis even called him out last episode and was like, are you in a guys alliance? Like, what's it's, going on here? It's not an alliance. We're just looking out for each other. I mean, uh, I hate, Look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> I know. I hate when people say that. Even if you're not in an official alliance, if you're looking out for each other... That's some, some sort of an alliance. You are aligned. You are yes. working together. All right, so it's time to pick players for the... I'm not even going to do the envelope thing. <laughs> this show's not worth it. <laughs> oh, no. So, Kayla was picked. I mean, even Canada was like, we're not showing you this. We're just telling you what happened. Yeah. Anthony was picked, and Dennis was picked. Okay, and then, of course, the two nominees, Elijah and Bailey, are and also Viv's playing. And Viv's not playing. Right. 
All right, so the girls want Bailey to come off. <clears throat> yep. Anthony wants uh, little Goosey to come off. This is causing some tension because mm -hmm. Spicy V, this is another crossroads, you right. know? And she feels like Anthony is not listening to what she wants. And we've seen this before. And it doesn't. And who's gonna win? Well, <laughs> it seems like she doesn't usually confront him when she's having these issues. She no. just kind of lets it slide, which right. is disappointing. But she tells the girls one thing. She complains to the girls. Then she'll go to Anthony and be like, "The girls feel like you're yeah. not working with them." When the girls means her. her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of the girls also feel that way, but like I yeah. think Spicy V does as well. Well, I mean, she planted that seed in their heads. Yeah, they don't know. Right. It's just always funny. Every time she goes to Anthony, she's like, the girls think that <laughs> blah, blah, blah. All right. So <laughs> Todd's nervous because he might go up as a replacement if the veto gets used. Yeah. So, like, I mean, he said some words after Vivek won HOH and he was all like, yeah, just try to come for me. Uh, and if you miss the shot, you I'm better hit your ass out of here. You better hit. Yeah. So he's pretty nervous. Like, oh, what if Vivek comes after me this week <laughs> because of what I said? Yeah. Uh, Dennis is not going to throw the veto comp because he doesn't want to see Bailey come off. He doesn't want Bailey to go, but he also wants the right. noms to stay the same because right. you never know who the replacement nominee is going to be, which is a scary thought even when you're, when you're thinking that when your own ally is HOH, yeah. right? But they're not seeing eye to eye this week. So he's like, it's best if nominations stay the same and we vote to keep Bailey. Right. Elijah goes. So Spicy and Anthony have a chat. And Bailey wants to work with you, so, like, you should, uh, like, keep her. She's trying to convince Anthony, Anthony <laughs> that they should be keeping Bailey this week. And he's all like, oh, you gotta give me a better reason. Like, what does this do for me? Um, I mean, I feel like he's used the excuse before, like, doing something is the best thing for their whole hot chocolate alliance. Right. But when it comes to the girls wanting to keep Bailey, he's just like, well, that's not good for me. Like, it doesn't no. do anything for me. So. He wants to keep Goose because Goose <coughs> is his little uh, zombie robot. And he'll do anything he wants just to hang out with him. They feel like, he'll or he feels like Goose isn't going to win a comp. Yeah, so he thinks he can just control Elijah to do whatever he wants. And he may be right to a certain extent. I mean, I think he's probably pretty right. But, <sighs> like... That's not what we want to see. That's boring. He says, we need to backdoor Dennis. And Spicy V says, oh, that would be a good move. <laughs> I mean, the thought of that at the beginning of the week, the possibility of Vivek doing that, it was like, come on. Come on. He's not going to put Dennis up. They're yeah. supposed to be best friends. Four-hour personal conversation. Daddy, son. He saved you saved last week. Saved with the week. veto. Like, come on. Two, two weeks on slop. And yeah. then he saved you. And here From you the are. bottom. <laughs> So it didn't yeah. seem like a possibility, but he's like, I don't know. I feel like maybe we could do it. And Spicy B's like, let's get it done. Oh, my let's God. Let's see what happens with that veto. I never would have thought. All right, so it's time for the POV comp, and it's beach. Your job <laughs> is beach. Yeah. It's time for a beach off. Uh, not just any beach. Cuba. Oh, yes. Because this is one sponsored of, by Sunwing. Right, because one of the prizes for this season is a all-expenses-paid trip to Cuba. I would love that. Me too. So you have to sit. Oh my stomach! You have to sit in a beach chair until they say go. go. <laughs> I think you had to hold down a button too with your back, with part of your body. Yeah. So then you only get three minute increments to work on this freaking maniacal puzzle. It was a large puzzle. So and it was different levels. Yeah. And like the puzzle was on the a tray. It was on. Okay, so they had the blocks. Yeah. And they were rectangular blocks. But the puzzle was on the top. Right. Of, like the smallest surface area part of the blocks. Right. Like it if you're stacking them just vertically. Like a box of matches, like on the tiny side. Yeah, it's on the tiny side. Yeah. And the bottom of this puzzle, it's at all different heights. Right. So the puzzle pieces are different lengths. You have to have it be even on the top. And the puzzle pieces are strewing mm -hmm. in the sand. How much sand do you think they had a truck in there for this comp? I don't know. Probably like a decent amount, right? Yeah. That's one of those things where like you need so much more than you would think. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you <coughs> notice, they didn't fill up the whole thing with no, sand. No, it was just like a just little a, portion. a strip. But even that. Yeah. A lot and of it was sand. pretty deep too because like they were digging in that sand. Yeah. That must have been like a lot. They're like cats in the litter box. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so they only have three minutes at a time. Uh, There's an additional prize for this veto as well. 5K, baby. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. So they had their three minutes, and then before the timer uh, went off, you had to get back to the chair. You had to put mm -hmm. your ass back in the chair. If that's not hard enough, there were also distractions. Oh, my God. Ah. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. But Dennis was pretty confident. He was like, yeah, I'm Puzzle Pup. He said, I've already won two vetoes as the Puzzle Pup. Like, let's get another one under yeah. the belt. Let's get that 5K. Uh, yeah. Anthony is throwing it. He does not want to win and have no. to show his cards. Um, but Kayla, she was really, really she good at this. Yeah. She had her puzzle pieces stacked up the right way so that she could look at them while she was still sitting that in the lounge chair. That was very smart and super clutch. Yeah. She was really doing well. She was like sitting up in her chair so that she'd be able to see instead of like pushing the button or right. whatever with her head. Right. So some of the distractions, they had some, uh, what would you call them, salsa dancers? Yeah, like a salsa dancer, yeah. They came out, did a little show. They were Kudos. great. Great. Yeah. Then, oh <coughs> my God, Karen. <laughs> They're also like passing out drinks, which is whatever. Yeah. But then Karen from season five, yes. Kevin Martin, that little puke. Karen was one of our top picks to be a returning player if this season. If only Karen had come back instead of Anthony. This season would be day. so different. <laughs> Can you imagine? Karen, you were a treasure. We didn't know what we had when we had you. I'm curious if she was invited to be on this season. I did and she just said see no. that her son got married like in the last few weeks, so maybe she was like, no, I can't miss that. Right. I wonder. I'm curious. I don't know. I wish it had been Karen. Oh, Sorry. my God. Sorry, spicy. I said that. Ugh. It's because you're working with Anthony. Ugh. Yeah. But, um, yeah, seeing Karen on our TV screens again, and she brought it, as what, she always does. What a treasure. Yes. She had the Kevin Martin towel. <laughs> I hope she wiped her ass with that. She that was little dissing puke. everybody. <laughs> she said, uh, Todd, you don't know who I am. You're going to be next. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. She was calling Matt Mario mm -hmm. or Mario. She was roasting him. She was really roasting him. Good for her. Yeah. She was really uh, giving some Dennis, Dennis some attention, too. Well, I'm sure she knows that Dennis is a super fan. Yes. So he definitely knows who she is. Yes. Oh, my God. If I was in this comp, I would have been like, ah! Karen, I'll yeah! throw it for you. Just talk to me for five minutes. Oh, my God. So Kayla was killing it, and guess what? She won. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it was even close. I think she won by a lot. She did. Yeah. She did. So now Kayla's going to use it. Uh -oh. oh, yep. She's celebrating with the girls. What are you doing? He's really digging in that box. <laughs> He's uh, digging for puzzle pieces over oh, here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bailey is super psyched because she's like, oh, my God, Kayla's going to use it on me. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah, and they were celebrating <clears throat> up in one of the bedrooms. So Vivek and Anthony have a meeting. All right. If Kayla's going to be using the veto, which Vivek doesn't know yet. Right. Uh... We're going to have to figure out who this replacement nominee is going to be. I want to keep noms the same. <laughs> yeah, Vivek is all like, uh, I don't want Kayla to use the veto. I want noms to, to stay the same. He said, okay, that's, not that's a dream. Yeah. So Anthony was like, mm, a lot of people have been telling me that. Everyone in this house has come to me and said that they want Dennis out. Right. And Vivek's like, I can't do that. That's my boy. I'm not doing that. That's my dad. Yeah. Well, your other dad says you better do it. Yeah. So like. Anthony says, okay, okay. He's not done with that, though. No, of course not. So then Vivek calls in Kayla and Spicy. Right, because these four are, like, starting to form an alliance, even though it's fake for three out of the four people. Guess which one thinks it's real? It's Vivek. <laughs> so Vivek's all like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Like, Illuminati such a good group. Confirmed. Like, we have, we're covered on all sides of the house. Yeah, great. All right. It's not real. Well, Dennis tells Vivek. <coughs> uh, well, Vivek is like, Dennis, I got some news right. for you. Uh, turns out Anthony wants you out. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so he shared this info with Dennis, and Dennis is just like, okay, well, I mean. He's like, I told you so. <laughs> yeah. See? Suspicions confirmed. Yeah. So, of course, Dennis would love to see Vivek put Anthony up, but he knows that's not going to happen. So he's telling him put Tola up. Yeah, at least take away a number If you don't Anthony. have the balls to put up Anthony, at least put up Tola for crying out loud. Which, honestly, is 
wild because Tola is like not that close to Anthony. Like there are so many other moves that would yeah. hurt him so much more. But yeah. everybody seems to think that Anthony is so tight with Matt and Tola. Right. Which he does have them. I mean, I think he's pretty close to Matt. But yeah, he I don't think he has Tola like that. No. All right, so <coughs> Dennis says there's no effing way you're going to win if you send home another girl. Yeah, he's like, you're it's taking numbers away numbers. Right now. We need these numbers in order to eventually, when someone who has the guts to do it, when someone takes a shot at Dougie, we need right. the votes, and you're getting rid of one of them. Well, Dougie knows that Dennis is smart. Yeah, that's and, why he's targeting him. And if Dennis stays, uh, it's not good for, for Dougie's game. Right, so... Dougie, Kayla, and Spicy V are have, all having the strategy session because right. Kayla needs to lay down the law with Vivek and say, I'm using the veto, and this is who I think you should put up. But Kayla's, Do you want a role play? Yeah. Kayla's <laughs> like, I'm scared. I need you guys there. I need you to help me. And I mentioned this in the um, dailies recap. I feel like she was sitting there with her parents, and they're like, Yeah. <laughs> Honey, do you, do you want to go over it again? No, I'm going to do it. So she runs up and talks to Vivek mm -hmm. and says, uh, I'm using the veto. And you I mean, I don't know that she was that stern about it, well, but yeah. <laughs> Eventually she gets there. I mean, we don't have all day here. You yeah. Know? So I can't then, do this all day. I know. So Spicy is like, oh, can I join in the combo? This was all planned that she would come in after a few minutes. Right. And then they're like, should we get Dougie too? Let's get Dougie up here. So they're all like, oh, um... You gotta put up Dennis, and Vivek's like, no, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, at first he was like, no, I don't want to do that. Like, I can't do it. Well, first he's like, can you leave? No, I'm just the same. Yeah. No, I want to use the veto. So then, uh, put up Dennis. He only cares about himself. And he was trying to get you out last week. You know, mm -hmm. he would have voted you out. So... Yeah, they had these talking <clears throat> points that they had already been pushing with right. him for a few days. And it was like, he wouldn't have used the veto on you unless he thought there was a big target going up. If he knew that Donna was going to go up, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't have used have, it. He, he would have been, used, he would have yeah. kissed your ass goodbye. Exactly. They're like, he's only in it for himself. Like, he's a lone wolf, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. He, I'm sorry. Why are we ignoring the fact that Spicy put Vivek on the block last week? That's yeah. the whole reason he was up there. Exactly. So, Vivek said, I got to think about it. He seemed pretty convinced when he heard that uh, Donna, you know, <laughs> I just, my mind just told me, <laughs> what? Yeah. He was convinced when they told him that if Vivek, if Dennis knew, these names are killing me. <laughs> I know. If Dennis knew that Donna was going to go up, that. Yeah, uh, the whole veto situation. Yeah. So, eventually, they wear him down, and he's like, I'll think about it. And he's like, oh my god, what a, what did I just do? What did I, what what's have happening? I done? I don't know. Um, what am I, what am I going to do? You're getting bamboozled. That's what's happening. Yeah. Ugh. So it's time for the POV ceremony, the POV. Oh boy. And it's time for speeches. Everybody says, do whatever you want. I mean, that's pretty standard fodder. And then Kaylee uses it on Bailey, says, I want to rebuild my connection with you, my trust. Yeah. So then Vivek says, well, my mommy and daddy said that I, I, this is a very difficult decision and the person uh, that I'm going to put up really deserves to win, but I'm killing their game right here and they're going to hate me forever. So <laughs> it breaks my heart, but I got to ride. So I'm putting you up, Dennis. And Dennis no! had the evils. He was pissed, and he should be. He had dagger eyes. I don't blame him. I saw the top of his head puff a little <laughs> bit, blew off, and he said, you know what? I'm going to burn this house. <gasps> wow. Okay. Like, call up the fire department. Let's do this. He even said, effer. He, um, <laughs> he censored himself. He said, he that's did. effed. Yeah. <laughs> Good so, for you, Dennis. <laughs> yeah. So he said, I, I know what it is to get these people to bleep it out. I'm just going to do it myself. So he was crushed. Yeah, this, I mean, that's a huge betrayal. Huge betrayal. Wow. Huge mistake. Vivek wanted emancipation from his daddy. That was, that was really bad. Children. <laughs> 
Well, you know who's all in the diary room gloating without saying a word? Mountains of the Himalayas? <laughs> what? What does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But, yeah, Anthony's all like, look what I just did. Ah, oh, my cold. God. I just want to see him go home. I know. So soon. I know. As annoyed as I am with Vivek, I still want to see Anthony go first. Yeah. And then Vivek. And then Spicy. Spicy can hang for a bit. No. <laughs> She's entertaining. You gotta admit. She is entertaining, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well... I'll allow it. Let us know what you all thought of this episode. Do you think that Vivek made a terrible decision or the worst decision possible? <laughs> I think... I, I feel sorry for him because they're just really taking advantage of him because he's just starstruck and he's naive. inexperienced. Yeah. Very naive. So I feel bad for the guy because when he goes home and he sees what happened, he's going to feel like a teeny. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow's eviction day. And until next time, much love. love.